Welcome on guys, my name is Planet MC and welcome back to another episode of EBF. Now, in between last episode and now, I discovered that there was actually a first, another battle in between there that opened the way into here. Now I'm gonna open the chests. Before I do that guys, Spacey my kind Spacey kind of late, but our channel is currently at 112 views. I've been meaning to say something about that 100 view. So, yay! So, okay, it looks like I actually got an item there. That's pretty good. Coffee is very important. Revives a fallen ally. Not only will eventually be able to do that, but not very much. And also, guys, leveled up. First of all. I just realized what these items are for. Basically, you can give this to any character, their attack will be boosted forever. It's awesome. Can't go wrong. Matt and Adelaide Lynn. Lance are going to give that. And by the way, skills are sort of they're grayed out. I can't, I could learn if I had enough. If I had enough ability points and skills that are like translucent, I can't learn at all because I don't have the previous skills I need. And like there are only chains, like this one, combined. I need to learn air strike and debilitate. And I can't even learn debilitate yet. So I need to learn one of the things I need to learn is the skill. Find it, guys. But anyway, one of the things these words is to walk on, so yeah. Alright, so that way we're going to give the Thunder skill, actually, the Ice skill, which could be fairly important for our next fight. I haven't actually saved since during last episode, so I need to see that now. So, yeah, guys, hope you're enjoying the series. Next, we're gonna see if I can forge any more equipment. And I'm gonna check out what this new item does. Now this basically boosts the power of Lucky Star and the debuff and it reduces the power of magic from being reduced. But this is powerful enough that I'm gonna keep it. I think it's just better that way. And so now I'm gonna fight the giant slime. Sort of a mini boss. More than the actual the actual boss is still coming up, guys, of this area. And this is not going to be a quick let's play. As I think I said earlier, I do expect this to be still going by, by the time I get my new computer for Christmas. So yeah, it's good. That's the giant swamp, guys. Basically, he just did an attack worth of damage to everyone by jumping. I think he can also jump on an individual character for tons of damage. I think you've noticed though, guys, that we've never really been in any danger of dying yet, but we will be eventually. Especially against some of the bosses and stuff. Alright, 600 HP. Good enough to throw everything we've got at it. Matt doesn't really have much, so... You, Matt, are going to buff yourself. I want... I just want Matt to kill the weakest slimes. This should be the last wave of the battle, though, because it has, like, the boss... the mini-boss character in it. So, Natalie's firepower 
Off screen, I was able to do like 150 damage with one attack. That would have instantly killed regular slime. Probably better with a dead himself. Chrome is now not only magic attack, I think it was well. Enraged. Poison. <laughs> That's the The reason I'm dang it, the reason I gave Matt that stuff is so he could watch off the slimes, but I guess he can't. Hey, it looks like the ice is actually the thing is I think they made the ice a little bit more powerful in this game than the other stuff. Or maybe that's just what it looks like because just because a lot of enemies are actually resistant to ice. I noticed that Matt has not been getting attacked much. Alright, kill the slide. That always actually will. I think I might have to use heal for the first time even. This goes on much longer, because that always takes a lot of damage. Looks like Lance's and stuff is actually pretty powerful. More powerful than Natalie's, but it is less elemental stuff. Oh wow! Giant Slime is dead! Good timing, because Natalie was about to drop. Okay, 22 ability points. I'm gonna be getting new skills, guys. New skills. New skills. Alright, that actually is two things here. We can either upgrade that, those skills or get this new skill. Quick Slash. It's a weak attack but it's high accuracy. That was only 30, so. It's weak for its level. Just as. I think it's just the regular attack with high accuracy. I'm gonna wait a little bit on that. Poison is always useful, so I'll get that. Really, the only thing that we can get right now is Thunder. Lance can't even do anything with it. Let's see if we post completing any quests. No, no one near any quests. Not at all, guys. I think we're gonna conquer another area or two here. Uh, this game might be a little laggier longer than the others. I don't think this would transfer further to my new computer. So I think this Let's Play is always going to be a bit laggier. EBF4 won't be Alright. Oh, Alright, this woman. Alright, thanks for telling us because those guys are powerful. Take out this bush guy first for power leveling. So I think Lance might be the one with the highest accuracy. But look. Crows actually have a high evade value. It's only about one higher than the others, but... I'm not even going to try attacking that thing with Earth. And as you can see, we're on to mostly level 4 now. One shot kills, I think, are very rare in this game, but two shots aren't really that rare. Thunder is unique. That a lot of thunder attacks have multiple small. Have, 
use multiple quick attacks. If they gave robots or uh, flying things a week to win. If you didn't see what that just said. <laughs> I remember now remembering the Diamond Minecart's Pixel Mob Let's Play. Because what happened there was in his first battle, his opponent used Sand Traps so much that he was hitting like once every five times. I think he might have actually won the fight though. <laughs> Funny thing is that no one has an accuracy debuff. So, maybe it should have given us a message, huh? Boom! Headshot! And no, I don't play any, like, first person shooters or anything, I just like saying. Oh, oh, guys, remember these from the first game? These were just the most wonderful opponents, weren't they? <laughs> they suck. Okay, as you can see, they're level 3 and have like 200 health. They're probably some of the toughest, toughest enemy, just HP wise, other than the slime that we faced so far. It's the toughest, like, regular enemy. Actually, resist the poison, so not gonna use that. Oh, fifty five damage, that's a lot. The sage. That is a powerful poison, dude. 21. Get this the tough territory now. I get the feeling that, like, at the end of the Let's Play, I'll watch this video and laugh at how I said this was getting tough. This game is a lot more than this stuff. I think it might be about time where we can get some more stuff. Well, we need to wait a little bit, except for Lance, who used to have powerful stuff. Now guys, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm going to get Plasma. Which, if you know who the boss is next, we're going to need powerful thunder. I'm not gonna grind these swift pros. Actually, screw it, I'm gonna grind the swift pros because this next opponent is tough. I don't think they're quite as powerful as the giant slimes, but they are very tough opponents. So, yeah. Great, the tree's really the only guy Matt has any chance against. And as you can see, this game is a bit less goofy than the original. There's no like being able to summon Pichu like the first game. Two opponents on turn. Nice. Okay, good. No one's poisoned. Poisoning sucks. Save that for the tree in case the tree didn't realize that because it barely doesn't. Okay, she can actually put it by this. Just 
just because I want to have it. Being able to heal everyone in one turn or anything like this. Because, again, the boss multi. Things that are coming up are going to be able to multi attack, not just the boss. Buff Master that is actually going to be useful here. Oh, so I'm taking down these clothes fairly easily with the amount of power that we have. Yeah, such to see that bat said that I think such damage won't kill me. Definitely not, cause look at him. He has like started the game with like 200 HP with him. Now he has almost 400. Now he does have 400 guys. Flame shot. Can't actually get in here, so no chest for us yet. I'm gonna grind one last time on the slime first. We need to. We need to. Oh, level 5 opponents now. Still probably gonna be like. Okay, this is going to be very easy. We're going to smoke these guys. Literally, in the case of the slimes. Yeah, slimes are really just the throwaway opponents, except in the last area of the game where slimes get powerful. Yep, this is what it says. This is a is a mini boss level foe, but he's a tough enemy. He's nothing we can't handle at this point, but it's gonna take us a few turns to take down. Level four, and he's already got like 400 health. How much health is bad actually? A few more. So Matt, you, so Matt, you get to do something against the boss this time. Wow, that was bad. I think he said it was weak to ice, so... No, not Lucky Star. And guys, after this battle, we're gonna end the video. Because we're just about 20 minutes now. It's giving us the tutorial, even though we've already been poisoned once. Who was this episode actually? May not, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Yeah, the looping of that music just now totally was not obvious, guys. 
see if I can kill it with an attack. Dang it. I didn't even see what we got. Okay, that looks like you can do stuff. Yeah, a quick attack thing from earlier for that. Natalie, you are going to get... I think Thunder, because fire is pretty adequate right now. Lance doesn't have enough now. But guys, that is about it for this video. Subscribe to me if you want more stuff from me, and this is going to be goodbye.